Well, good morning, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from beautiful San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful pastor, purposeful coach, and speaker in the world. I am so excited to have been given the gift of another day on planet Earth. You know, eternity is a very long time, and truly, you and I are just a boop on the radar. We're dust in the wind. All we are is dust in the wind. You got to remember that. This is not a dress rehearsal. This is your life. And so you might want to have some fun. I want to share with you an idea because I am speaking to what I would know to be factually the majority of people who are preparing for the holiday season, whether that be Christmas or or Hanukkah or, you know, whatever is going on, whatever the celebration is this time of the year that you and your faith celebrates. This is the time of the year where you have parties, you have get-togethers, you are around relatives if you choose to be a part of that. And here's what I want to share with you. If you are like most people, you are probably not of this mindset. Y'all ready? Here's the mindset. I am so excited about this Christmas season. I am so excited about this holiday season. I can't wait to see my friends and family. I can't wait to be around everybody. I'm so thrilled. I'm so excited to have all the money that I need to get everything I want for everybody that I care about. I have no financial concerns. I have no time concerns. My house is perfectly clean. The laundry is all done. The kids are doing amazing. Everything is in order. I'm just so prepared for an amazing Christmas. I'm guessing that is not the majority of what's going on in the majority of people's minds. And so I want to honor that space, and I would like to speak into that space along these lines. If you were a Seinfeld fan at some point, you probably loved the one where George Costanza goes to the beach, he comes back, and he meets Jerry and Elaine in the coffee house, and they go, where have you been, George? And he's going, I've been to the beach! Oh, the beach! Ah, yes, the beach. I've just been thinking, Jerry, every decision that I've ever made my entire life, every, whether it be something to wear, something to eat, every choice I've ever made has been wrong. It's been wrong. Every choice I've ever made has been wrong. And Jerry says, mm, gotcha, okay. And it unfolds in the diner that morning where Jerry says, well, you know, if every decision you've ever made has been wrong, then doing the opposite would be right. Would you agree? And George goes, <laughs> do the opposite. That's funny. Yeah, that's what I ought to do. I ought to do the opposite. And as the lady comes to take his order, she goes, ham and cheese on rye with coffee. And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, no, wait, wait. I always get ham and cheese on rye with coffee. Today, I'm going to do the opposite. I'll take tuna on wheat and a cup of tea. And in that moment, a cute blonde woman at the bar turns around and looks and looks back and George doesn't catch it but Elaine does and she goes George that beautiful woman just looked at you and he goes what am I going to do Elaine short men who are bald who are unemployed who live with their parents don't approach beautiful women and then Jerry chimes in and says well George if every decision you've ever made is wrong then doing the opposite would be right instead of avoiding beautiful women going up to them and asking them out. And he goes, you know, you're right. You're right. If every decision I've ever made has been wrong, then doing the opposite would be right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it. And George steps up, takes a deep breath, mans up and decides he's going to do it. And he walks over to the lady and he says, uh, pardon me. I couldn't help, but you noticed you looked my way. And she goes, oh yes, yes. You ordered the exact same meal as me. And he goes, my name's George. I'm unemployed and I live with my parents. And she goes, hi, I'm Victoria. <laughs> and it set off a course for the rest of the show that wound up getting George a job with the Yankees, turning into a total badass. And it was just, it's so super funny. So if you have had stressful times during the holiday season around family, around friends, I'm going to challenge you guys. Guys, what's the worst that can happen? Everybody in your life will hate you and make fun of you. You'll get kicked out of your house. You'll get arrested. You'll get sent to jail and you'll lose everything and you have to start over. That's the worst that can happen if you follow my advice. The worst thing that could happen. Okay, well, maybe you get beat up in jail and hurt real bad. That may be the worst that could happen. But really, what's the worst that can happen if you do the opposite? If your thoughts are gravitating towards negative expectation, 
for time with the family, time with the friends, time with others. If you're being beat up in your head with thoughts and ideas around this expectation of how you're supposed to show up, what if you did the opposite, Jerry? What if you did the opposite? What might happen? Hey, mom, hey, dad, hey, how y'all doing? I don't have the money that I need to get your presents, so I baked you some cookies. And you deal with it. Or you show up and your crazy Uncle Joe that you want to avoid and you got to get away from him and you don't want to hear him. You go, Uncle George, how you doing? Tell me everything you love about Trump, Uncle George. Tell me everything. And then you go over to your crazy Aunt Lou. Crazy Aunt Lou, who's a religious fanatic. She's a freak. She's a little weird. She's a little... He said, tell me what God's talking to you about, Auntie. What's going on in your... Do the opposite. I guarantee you that if during this Christmas season, this holiday season, if you're wigging out, if you're stressing out, do the opposite. Think the opposite. What's the worst going to happen? What's the worst going to happen? You have an amazing, freaking fun, hilarious time and everybody wonders what the heck is going on with you or what new meds you may be on and you get to have fun. It's your life. Wouldn't you rather have a fun adventure and be cracking up inside than to be miserable, than to be embarrassed, than to be ashamed, than to be having thoughts of negativity and negative expectation? What if you had positive expectation? What if you turned it around? What if you showed up and did the opposite? You're stressing because you didn't have what you need financially for the presents. You're going to go and you tell them the truth. You know, honey. Hey guys, don't have the money that I needed to get the presents that I want, but I love you guys. I baked you guys all some cookies. I literally baked them myself. I didn't pick them up from H-E-B. This is what I got for you guys. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I really wish that I had all the money that I needed to get all y'all stuff, but I realized I had enough for some of you. I didn't have enough for all of you. And if I just got a few things for a few people and everybody else would feel weird, so I don't want to be weird about it. So how y'all doing? What if you did that? What if you said that? What if you were just completely honest about it? What if the relatives that you did not want to talk to or be around or get next to, what if you opened up a conversation with them? What if you opened up a conversation with them? What if you had, let's just say that you're a Trump fan and one of your relatives is a Democrat. Go, tell me the benefits of socialism. I'm really fascinated in hearing this conversation, you know. Uh, since you're a family, I figured you could let me in on this scoop. Tell me the benefits of us, um, you know, taking everything from people who put in incredible amounts of time and effort and energy and labor and just giving it to folks who don't. I really want to hear this conversation. I'm excited about it. Uh, you know, do you understand what I'm saying? If you have someone that's a major, major, um, you know, Trump person and you're a Democrat going to say, tell me all the stuff you just love about Trump. Do the opposite. What kind of an amazing Christmas and holiday could you have if you did the opposite? If you just did the opposite. You remember that? Remember that person in your family who hurt you, that you're pissed off at, that you're angry, that you know is going to be there and you can't stand to be around them? Do the opposite. You go up and you go, hey, I know we've had some weird bad blood. You may or may not be aware of it or not, but I was really hurt this one time that you did that one thing and I've been carrying it around. I don't want to carry it around anymore. I would just like to address it. You know, we're family. I love you. Okay, I love you. Now, you may not like them, but you don't have to say that. You know, and I love you. And I just hope that we have a great Christmas. So what I did, here, I brought you. Can I get you a cup of coffee? And then serve them. Serve them. Can I get you a cup of coffee? Can I get you a plate? Uh, what would you like? Would you like the sausage or the tamales? Let me get it for you. Let me help you. Do the opposite. Guys, if you're weirded out in your head about all the stuff that's going on around this Christmas time, do the opposite. What's the worst can happen? You could have the freaking time of your life, blow everybody's mind, and the absolute worst case scenario is that they could find that you're crazy, they'll lock you up, take you into protective custody, commit you to the Texas State Hospital, where you'll be locked up for a minimum of 90 days. And let me tell you, he's a guy who's been there and done that. It ain't that bad, you know what I mean? And it resets the course for the direction of your life that you're headed, and now you have a great story, you have a great adventure. I mean, think about the best case scenario. You trip everybody out. They wonder why you're so damn happy, why you're so damn healed, why you're so damn joyful. They don't know what to expect and you've done the opposite. You want to have fun this Christmas? Are you wigging out? Are you stressed out? Don't have enough money for gifts? A little upset about who might be at the party and what they did to you and how, how they hurt you, how they messed with you, how they got in your head? I'm going to challenge you. You want to have some fun? Do the opposite. You'd be shocked at the adventure and the stories that follow. Have a great day, guys.